When the Ice Caves Bridge near Granite Falls reopens in two weeks, it'll mean access to one of the coolest, literally, natural sites in our state. Before the bridge was destroyed by floods in 2006, some 50,000 visitors walked the trail. King 5's Lori Masakawa is live with a story that is new at 6.30. Lori. Dennis, engineers were able to build this bridge with astonishing speed, just six weeks. Now hikers and even those in wheelchairs can easily make their way to the ice caves once again. Several large ice caves lie in the misty coolness at the end of the trail. Thousands of people made the trek the last two years to see them, even after the ice caves bridge was washed out in 2006. Here's the reason why, a chance to witness the majesty and potential danger of the ice cave. Since this May, construction crews have been working feverishly to replace the old bridge. The new span is different in many ways. It's made of aluminum, 60% lighter than a traditional steel and timber bridge. It was helicoptered to the work site in seven pieces. We couldn't transport anything bigger than, oh, you know, 500 to 600 pounds at a time. The bridge is 16 feet longer and two to three and a half feet taller to let debris wash easily underneath. And because it sits on pre-existing pilings and doesn't need painting, it's easier on the environment. Bridge engineer Peter Wagner says many folks say the use of aluminum fits the ice caves trail. It you know, has a kind of cold silvery look and in time it won't be as uh, it's bright and reflective as it is right now when it's fresh and new. It'll, you know, kind of weather and look kind of like an old aluminum ladder. And users will find aluminum kinder to the hands and feet. But one nice thing, too, is that even when it's hot, uh, it doesn't, I mean, hot outside, the, the metal itself doesn't get hot to the touch like steel does. Crews are also shoring up the Stillaguamish Riverbank to keep this bridge firmly in place. I'm just looking forward to, you know, having it back open for everybody so they can enjoy the you know, the whole hike and uh, getting across the river without having to wade it. <laughs> Don't want to wade that river. Again, the Ice Caves Trail Bridge set to open July 4th in all its aluminum glory. In the newsroom, Lori Matsukawa, King 5 News.